Hey guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life, the YouTube channel that talks all things Wentworth. Now, in today's video, I am going to be doing something slightly different. I've been getting a lot of message requests recently to do a review of the new UK TV show Screw, which is a brand new prison drama set in a men's prison. So seeing as a lot of you have wanted me to do this, here it is. Now, don't worry if you haven't been able to watch the show yet, I am not going to be revealing any major spoilers and any storylines that I will be talking about will be very minimum. In other words guys, I will not spoil the show for you. Ok so let's get started. So while I've been going online and getting some photos from the TV show, I came across this article saying that Screw is going to be airing over in Australia and New Zealand. Now it doesn't actually have a date as of yet, but it's great great news for the fans on the other side of the pond. Now hopefully with it being aired in Australia and New Zealand, hopefully America, Canada and the rest of the world should be getting it at some point this year. So as I said earlier, Screw is set in a men's prison and I will be honest with you, I had reservations about this before I started watching, only because I've never really been able to get into a men's prison drama, not the same way that I've always enjoyed women prison dramas. However, before I ended up watching it, I learned that the writers were the same writers that did that TV show Killing Eve, which is fantastic. So I had a really good feeling that this was going to be a nitty and gritty drama, and guys, it really, really was. Not only that, but right from the opening first episode, I knew straight away that this show wasn't going to be predictable, because it wasn't, guys. You could not predict what was going to happen, because in the opening episode, episode, it started off with a female character waking up in a prison cell. So when I first saw this, I was a bit confused. I thought, I'm sure this is meant to be a men's prison drama. Next minute, this woman character gets out of the prison bed and starts getting dressed. Now, it's at this point we realise that this woman is a prison officer, and she is basically sleeping in this prison cell. So she gets dressed and she heads down to the staff area. Now at this stage I was already hooked because I'm thinking to myself what is going on here? Is this woman living in the prison in secret or what? What is the story here? So in the opening scene in the very first episode I was already intrigued by what was happening and I distinctly remember thinking to myself oh this is different. So this woman character who I keep referring to she's called Lee Henry and she is she's not so much a governor but she's kind of like the, the head screw of her wing, which, by the way, is called C-Wing. Now, I actually really liked Lee's character. She's a very complex person who appears very tough with some of her staff members, but she treats all the male inmates with respect. And there are moments in the show where Lee literally crosses the line in order to help some of the male inmates, which was really, really cool to see, but it also made you think, what else is Lee capable of? And also, what's the deal with Lee sleeping in one of the prison cells? Well, I can't reveal too much because it's quite a huge spoiler reveal, but it's really interesting, guys, and I felt really sorry for Lee by the end of the series. Let's talk about some of the other officers. So, we have a new officer who starts on her first day called Rose Jill, and her first day on the job doesn't go very well, let's just say. When she arrives in the staff room and meets some of the other officers, they don't really show her much support, and they all even end up like running a book to see how long Rose will last in the job. By the end of episode 1, I can remember thinking to myself, if I was working in this particular prison with no support from my colleagues, I think I would have quit my job, <laughs> basically. Now, Rose has her own secret that I'm not going to reveal, but it's a secret that gets way out of control, and it leads to some huge, tragic consequences. We also have Officer Jackie Stokes, who I actually really liked. I think she was the nicer officer in the whole show who was a bit of a tomboy. Basically, she comes in and she does a job, but she also just likes going down to the pub after work and drinking with her friends. She's just that kind of down-to-earth person. What you see is what you get with Jackie, but I also love the fact that a lot of the officers call Jackie Jacks, 
this, which just made me think of Jax from Wentworth. Jackie, I feel, was the only officer who helped to support Rose in her new career. But Jackie was also a little bit of a nympho. She had some really funny one-liners, and she made no secret in saying out loud how hot an inmate or an officer was. And she'd also, like, say out loud, oh, I'd like to shag him or I'd like to fuck him type of thing. She even had sex in the staff toilets with another officer called Gary Campbell. Now, Gary Campbell is the bad screw in this show. I didn't like him at all. He was a complete racist pig. And he came out with some disgusting racist comments in pretty much every single episode. I just hated him. He was a bit of a bully to the inmates too. I can remember a scene where the men, they've been released after a lockdown. And Gary runs over and kicks one of the men in the back of the leg and causing him to fall over. He was just a total bully pick. He was also involved in a big, shocking storyline that I think happened in episode 3, possibly episode 4, and it really shocked me. But that's all I'm going to say on that one. We have another officer called Ali Shah, who I did really like. He was quite a funny guy, quite down to earth, and he came out with these random funny facts in each episode. He just seemed really tidy with the male prisoners. We also have Officer Don Carpenter, who is a much older character in the show, and I get the impression that he's been a prison officer for a very long time and he possibly might be reaching retirement age soon. He's a pretty much cool officer who he's often late to meetings and things but he always had the respect from his colleagues. There is another officer called Toby Phillips. Now I can't say too much about this character because I don't want to give away any spoilers but put it this way. Toby makes head screw Lee nervous because Lee gets it into her head that Toby has be sent to her wing to spy on her, but that's all I can say about that one. Now let's talk about some of the male prison characters, and I'm only going to talk about a handful of the main major characters. So, we have Costa. <laughs> I loved it when I heard an inmate called Costa, because of course we had Costa in Wentworth. Anyway, Costa is a little bit of a bad character, or at least we are led to believe this. However, I did feel at one point that there was some good in him. We didn't get a major backstory into him, but I got the feeling that when he basically, he had to make a certain decision about something, and you could see in his face that he was regretting it, but he was left with no option. So something tells me that there is more to Costa than what meets the eye, and I have a feeling there could be a turnaround with him. Not only that though, he is absolutely gorgeous. We also had a transgender character called Troy Walker. Now, Troy was fully transitioned from female to male, and the officers didn't know that Troy was transgender at first. But the officers noticed that Troy was being bullied for some reason, but they didn't know what the reason was. So, this is when Head Screw Lee found out, and she ended up telling the other officers, which apparently she wasn't supposed to do, it was meant to be kept hush hush. But she thought she was doing the right thing by letting her officers know. However, we learn that Troy isn't being bullied about being transgender, it's about something else. And Troy ends up having to do something to prove himself to the other men, which is a great scene, I really enjoyed it. I liked Troy's character and I always remember him playing Kyle in EastEnders, Stacy's brother. We also have Stephen Child, who I thought was a great complex character. Now Stephen had a great officer slash prisoner relationship with Lee, and Stephen was pretty much the model prisoner who was due to be released soon for his good behaviour. However, there are some huge twists and turns with Stephen's character that you do not see come in. There is also a really dark storyline that happens in the very first episode that involves Stephen, but that's all I'm going to say about that one, but I was on the edge of my seat. We also had Connor Joyce, and his storyline did break my heart in one of the episodes. Connor ends up in a storyline that really shocks you, but it also hits you in the feels. It's really, really shocking, but I loved how all the officers rallied around him when they discovered something bad that had happened on the outside. There are a few different other characters as well, but I don't want to go too much into them and spoil the whole show for you. But what I loved about the male prisoners is that even though a lot of them did seem scary 
at first, or some of them have got these anger problems, some of them do stupid things, some of them do shocking things in the series. We find out why they did these things. We learn why they are the way they are. We learn about the situations that they've got themselves into, and some of it really breaks your heart. It also gets you thinking, what would you do in that situation if you had to do a choice? I'll give you an example. Kill someone in prison, or your partner and child will be killed on the outside. That is some of the situations that these men face in this prison. It's a really good prison drama, and I really enjoyed it. I do think that when you do watch this show, it's probably better to watch episode 1 and episode 2 back to back, because when me and Peter watched episode 1, I felt I needed to see more to get myself properly into it. One episode wasn't enough for me personally, just to remember all of the characters and who was who. So definitely watch the first two episodes in one go if you get the chance. My favourite episode of this series I think was episode 4 because of a huge fight scene that I literally just loved. I won't spoil it for you but let's just say a situation in front of the prison's governor goes very wrong. This series was action packed. It made me laugh and it made me cry and I was on the edge of my seat during certain scenes. It ticked all the boxes for a prison drama in my opinion. There were moments in the show where I f it did feel a little bit like Wentworth. I mean, for example, there was a scene where some of the screws were being interviewed by a detective and the room area that they were in, it literally looked like the laundry area in Wentworth. It was so bizarre. It felt like it was in a little bit of a, I don't know, a time warp. I loved the background music that they used in each episode. It was dark, dramatic, and powerful. There was none of this comedy music that I know Orange is the New Black did. Screw, in my opinion, kept it real. Now, the series did end with a lot of secret reveals and questions answered that we all wanted to know, but it also ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. So I get the feeling that the writers do want a season two, but I think it all depends on the ratings for series one. But I, I for one, hope that there will be a season two and hopefully it will be longer than six episodes. Now talking about six episodes, even though season one only had six episodes, a lot happens in these six episodes and I kind of feel that six episodes was just about right for season one on this occasion. Put it this way, you will not be bored. If you go into this show hoping that it's going to be on the same level as Wentworth, then you will probably be disappointed and you probably won't enjoy it. But if you go into this watching it as a fresh new prison drama without comparing it to Wentworth or even Bad Girls, then you will love it. I think the fact that it's a men's prison definitely helps to keep these shows apart. Did the show excite me the same as Wentworth? Well, no it didn't. However, there is only one series of Screw at the moment, so if it does return, there is every chance it will get me excited as much as Wentworth did. Would I watch series 1 again? Yes. Yes, I would. Will I watch future series if they come out? Yes, I would. I think I still prefer a woman's prison drama, and I don't think that would ever change. But if you need a prison fix, then Screw is definitely one for you. So for me personally, I would give Screw a 7.5 out of 10, with a worth watch sticker on there too. So guys, let me know in the comments box below, have you watched Screw? If you have, did you enjoy it? And would you watch a series? too if it gets the green light. Now try not to write any spoilers in your comments guys just in case there are people out there who haven't watched the show yet but if you did or if you didn't enjoy it let me know why. Okay guys well I'm not going to be doing comment replies in today's video because I'm currently making another video and it's going to be the top 9 went with season finals and I will be replying to some of your comments in that video so make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on because you will not want to miss it. Okay guys guys well thank you all for watching enjoy the rest of your week stay safe and i'll see you all again very soon